Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning to everyone especially to Dr. Rashida binti Hami and to all my classmates. Today, I'm going to present on my topic which is digital menu but before we start, my name is Nur Hanim Humara binti Mazlan. To begin with, let me begin with the introduction part which is as time flies, without realizing the world has been attacked by the COVID-19 pandemic for already more than two years. According to the World Health Organization, WHO, coronavirus diseases, also known as COVID-19, is an infection disease caused by the SARS-CoV-2 virus. The best way to prevent and slow down this transmission is to well inform about this disease and how this virus spread. To minimize human-to-human -human contact in the COVID-19 environment, most hotel guests and a significant portion of restaurant patrons believe that by using technologies in the service delivery is compulsory. Now, let me continue with digital menu. So guys, what is digital menu? A digital menu, according to Showcal 2021, is a menu that a uh, digital version offered in the food service establishment to their customer via QR, quick response codes. And in addition, the menu is very important because we know that menu is the heart of the restaurant. Next, digital menu systems are divided into three larger systems which is QR code menu, non-touchscreen menu and touchscreen menu. So let's we begin with the first category which is the QR code menu. So the QR code menu is the self-service technology. This is because a simple web page or a PDF file can be accessed by clicking the link and it can be lead to a cloud-based web application which an interactive user interface, UI or user experience which is UX design. A QR code is a pattern of black and white scale that devices with the scanning technologies that can read. Non-touchscreen digital menu system are digital boards that provide visual information about the product owned by the business and require an interpersonal staff for the customer to be able to place an order. This digital menu board can be categorized into two groups, which is the first we have the static digital menu board, SDMB, and second one we have the dynamic digital menu board, DDMB. MB. So what is SDMB? Static digital menu board are larger screen that allow the product of the menu to be presented with attractive visual and the price information in the place where the customer can easily see them. This component of this screen is the image do not change consistently and remain still. So what are the examples of the static digital menu board? We have IKEA restaurant, we have Tila, we have Family Mart convenience store. Yes, Yes, they are all using this static digital menu board. While we have another one which is dynamic digital menu board which is DDMB. Dynamic digital menu board are plasma, full lighting emitting diode LED or liquid crystal display LCD screen. We are also used as a menu board that combine the static menu tag with the high quality images, video, slideshow and animation and live new charts. Furthermore, one of or more images on the screen are consistently changing and are usually present to video. So, for example, you can see the TSA video then in, at the TLA. Alright, now let me proceed with another system of digital menu which is touchscreen digital menu. So, what are touchscreen? It's a combination of the system that have tablet or a kiosk. So what a tablet based digital menu which is a digital menu system that allow the offered menu to be displayed and ordered via tablet computer. A kiosk is another example of self service menu technologies. They are freestanding devices with the touch screens that are usually found in the restaurant entrances or inside the areas. With the help of these devices, customers can select the product they want, place their order and directly make the payment. So what are the examples? For example, McDonald's and KFC restaurant in Malaysia, they are using the touch, uh, touch screen digital menu. Okay, so have you guys experienced yourself? If you are not having a chance to experience yourself, now you should go to any McDonald's or KFC restaurant franchises and experience yourself using this touch screen digital menu. Usually, most of the McDonald's and KFC restaurants nowadays in Malaysia, they already offer this type of touchscreen digital menu. So, let's experience yourself. 
with the touchscreen digital menu system. So basically, what is a SWOT? We have strength, we have weaknesses, we have opportunity, and we have threat. So let we begin to start with the strength. So what are digital menu strength? So this is generally we know that digital menu are convenient. A digital menu is convenient because the food survey establishment can change their uh, digital menu using the software anytime and anywhere. Of course, because it's digital, what you need is a computer or a letter or any gadget and you can change easily anywhere. As long as you have a good internet connection, then there is no problem at all. A second is cost saving. Why is this a cost saving? Because using a digital menu allow the management to change their menu design anytime without the additional cost. Yes, because it's digital menu. So you don't need to reprint back everything like a classic version of menu which is printed card menu and then number three promotion contribution yes digital menu has some space where the business can display their campaign most effectively yes some of the restaurant they also uh, do collaboration which is their you know do some promotion contribution which is uh can be the side income from them it's like do you have any advertisement we have a digital menu so while you browsing sometimes this advertisement is going to pop up suddenly because they want to advertise what are other maybe promotion inside their store maybe other uh, business partner is having a good deal so yes that's we what we call the promotional contribution and from this they also will gain some extra money and the last one increasing speed and enhance the quality of the service first of all they are very expensive hmm you must be wondering why very expensive yes the digital menu is very um convenient and safe cost but not coming to one expect that you guys must be forget what about the gadget for example do you know at sushi king they use tablet based menu which is that it require one tablet per one table yes that's made a very increase in the cost which is very expensive as the tablets are costly and a big restaurant will require many tables as each table require a tablet and there is an increase expenses in purchasing secondly will face difficulty if the gadget does not work properly the customer will only have an easy access to the menu option if the gadget works properly so what happened if this uh, gadget may be lagging maybe um doesn't have a good internet connection uh, so you know this going to have a diff the customer will face difficulty and the lead with to the frustration to ordering and then it is compulsory to have a good vision due to digitalization the menu are displayed digital by using the gadget yes um hopefully you realize this which is have you realized is actually is according on the gadget itself the more the bigger the gadget screen the more the display screen i mean the more the the wider the this the things that are going to be displayed but you know nowadays all our smartphone is very quite small so especially for the baby bloomer generation they will face a problem firstly is create car selling opportunities by recommending beverages that match the food that customer want to order they also made the cross selling opportunities easier so hmm how is this going to be happen for example have you ever have experience when you browse in the menu and then for example you put a tom yum um tom yum you know a tom yum um noodle for example and suddenly uh there's a what uh, you know recommended beverages which is uh this customer the customer usually pair with this which is aloe vera drink for example uh fresh orange juice for example so this is what we call cross selling opportunity which is is the one that going to pop up suddenly is going to trigger your mind to add on to buy this uh, also and to give a try and then reduce human or error yes it is more likely that an error will be made when talking order when the customer can place their own uh, order using a digital menu yes digital menu going to minimize the uh, um the 
human error because if human you maybe you know is going to um you know it's sometimes is influenced by the emotion but when you use digital menu there's no emotion at all uh, all right so miscommunication between employees and customer can cause time consuming and expensive mistake during the peak service time for example like i give examples like influenced by emotion for example maybe this waitress have the not good experience on that day um is like a not good day and suddenly when you place the order and he or she is like not concentrate so much and then like for example maybe you order uh one uh chicken rice but instead um this uh, waiter give you two yes you can reject but especially for the business they are already considered as a loss and then promote special offer and build customer loyalty last but not least for the SWOT analysis which is threat so what are threat okay firstly for the threat for digital menu are data security yes this is nowadays a very famous issue especially regarding the scam scam all those kind of things so data security since a qr code is programmable it can associate with anything qr code system can also set cookies that track the customer purchase and add their name phone numbers and credit card information to various database without maybe it can with your concern and maybe without your concern also might be happen so to all my friends make sure you guys are really aware with all those qr code that you are scanning and then power consumption like i just said before this you know the tablet based menu they use tablets and the tablet is pure, uh, power consumption which is the life of the tablet is only for one day hence the staff need to recharge back after the battery is low and less lost job uh, opportunity it take over many of their responsibility as waiter and waiter later let we move on into problem and recommendation so the first problem is regarding of digital menu is lack of interaction with the service employee is one of the most controversial problem with the touchscreen menu so meanwhile many people who believe that eating out is done for entertainment and social connection consider this inability to talk with the server as a drawback so what will be the suggestion as we know when we use the touchscreen menu we don't need the employee that's uh, like previously i mentioned because every everything with you can done with you know um with the one click so um as a for suggestion the food survey owner might be can use the digital menus like a qr code but when come to ordering i would like to suggest that the customer to place the order it is suggested to use the waiter and waitresses all right and secondly it's time consuming to browse the menu all right so we know that it's going to consider time uh, consuming to browse the menu if you have a menu card you just can flip 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 but for the um, digital menu you need some time to browse the menu especially what you, you click every single menu and to see the description and those kind of that so what will be the suggestion the suggestion is the food service provider must be use a stable platform to implement their digital menu the more the stable the platform and the faster loading time to browse the digital menu all right so we know a good platform usually um not consider laggy so much and usually um you know the browsing time is much more faster if you use the uh, most stable website so make sure the food service res uh, restaurant owner at least to minimize the browsing time at least use the stable platform is highly recommended and the last one is digital menu are not senior citizen friendly this is because the baby bloomer generation needs some more time to cope and adopt to the current technologies the digital menu recover an excellent vision to look at the new uh, menu uh, uh, excellent vision meaning and as the menu display uh, chiefly depend on the size of the gadget like i mentioned previously and as a suggestion any food service establishment that offer a digital menu need to have at least one a printable menu as a backup just in case there is a necessary for the elder so on the whole the use of digital menu is rising to due to the covid 19 pandemic as people are encouraged to do more contactless service in daily activities secondly one of the effort is used using the digital menu is the food survey established to minimize the contact with human the SWOT analysis help to identify the strength weaknesses opportunity and threat related to digital menu in generally and the last one however a few type of restaurant
Singaporeans still prefer using traditional menu cards such as fine dining to preserve their type of restaurant and identity. So this is true especially for the fine dining. We know the fine dining, the traditional menu card is their uh, signature which is from the hard cover, the, print, uh, the printed, the velvet one. You know all this kind of thing is reflect and portraying their uh, restaurant identity. So everyone, I think that's all for today. Thank you so much for listening to me and Assalamualaikum.